Hi guys, it's Alicia from My Work Basket. Today I'm going to show you a paper craft that I worked on recently. Um, these are called flip books or folios. Um, you can see them tagged as paper crafts, snail mail, outgoing mail, and it's just kind of a fun way to send like a special letter. So what I did for this one was I started with a 8x8 sheet of paper that had this pattern on it. You can see and all I did was fold it in half to create like a basic folio. I added some little gem mosaics things here. This is actually supposed to be like a chalkboard, you know, just a little decorative front. And then when you open it up, that's where the real fun starts. And you can put all kinds of stuff inside. And so what you do is actually create different pockets and different things to both decorate it and create space to tuck in. So you can see this little flap opens up to reveal more on the inside. And so what I did for mine, I actually am just kind of getting back into paper crafts again. And so I was like, you know, can, can I do this well enough to make it worth swapping with someone or sending? And so I made, made mine, left this piece kind of blank inside. I could put a note or, you know, put like a, another little envelope to hold things. But I just kind of kept going and going and going and adding until I felt like it was full. So this little pocket envelope, I put some stickers in here. Some glittery stickers that kind of match the work. I put one of these pieces. So they, whoever I mail this to would get to keep these things. And so like I said, I just kind of kept adding and adding. So this is actually... This pink pocket is an envelope. Um, little little side note and secret here is that I actually, I used my Fiskars, the box maker, to make this envelope and this envelope. And I kind of forgot how to do it. I ended up having to go back and watch my own tutorial video. And so you can kind of just see a little piece. This envelope actually has too many lines. And so I just kind of did my best to cover it up. But so this envelope then comes open. And there's another thing inside and I did these tags. These tags are also a chalkboard. So I labeled one with a little um, rub one, but I left the rest empty for whoever I mailed this to. And so you can see, it's just kind of like, it just kind of keeps going. There's all these flaps, it's very interactive. And so I just kind of wanted to show that off. Me like, you know, if you've seen these, if you want to try it, just go for it. I spent a kind of a lazy Sunday. Um, I think it was last weekend. And I just sat down with my bag of paper craft stuff. And like I said, I just kept adding to it. And, you know, I was like, oh, here's an empty spot. Let's add an envelope. Oh, here's an empty spot. Let's make a paper. And so all this was, this was actually this piece of paper is from a mat stack. Um, and so I just folded one piece out of a mat stack in half and decorated the front. You know, this is just, I sent this through my embossing machine and tore the edges and taped it on. So you can just kind of keep going and going and adding until you're kind of done. And so you can see, I took this same kind of gray colored, the same stamp with gray and just added it kind of throughout. And a lot of these are pre cut out out of embellishment packs. Um, this one was an embossing came from one of the same sets as these things, I think, or a similar set. And so I sent that through my embossing machine and cut it out. This came in a paper pack. This was actually from the, this and this were both from the Tonic Studios. Um, it's like a magazine with stamps and everything that I had ordered on scrapbooking.com. So that's where that one came from. This was just a paper stack. Um, these were both from the same embellishment pack. So um, this piece I think was the same embellishment pack as that. You know, some washi tape. And so I just kind of kept going until I felt like it looked nice. And then this pocket... I'll probably put um, either a letter or like some gifts or goodies for whoever I send this to. So that was just kind of a fun experiment that I was working on. And I wanted to show it off to you and kind of like if you've seen these, you know, don't be afraid to try it. Anyone can do it and give it a shot if it's something you're interested in. And I'd love to see yours. You can send them to me. Um, my email is alicia at myworkbasket.com. I'd love to have you visit my website too at myworkbasket.com where there's all kinds of crafty fun and free crochet and knitting patterns and all kinds of other stuff. So have a great day. And if you want to try something, try it. You can do it.